She's an activist, an Oscar-winning actress who is executive producer and star of The Meddler, which debuts April 22nd. Susan Sarandon. Hey. Great to see you. How are you? I'm good. It hurts your foot there, huh? Yeah, I fractured my ankle. Did you do that making the movie? No, falling down a uh, mountain in Columbia. Mountain you know, in Columbia. how that goes. You are unbelievable. <laughs> I tell you, time has not laid a glove on you. Aw. Really? Right? Am I right? <laughs> Together. And I don't sleep hardly at all. Really? No, you should. I have to oh, I'm going to get you with Ariana on that. I, she already got me. All right. I got it. Well, I saw your movie. It's so charming. I really Thanks. enjoyed it so much. You and softy, you. Yeah, I am a softy. It's I true. Like I, that. I heard Trump say the other day that he never cries. I don't cry. I cry at movies. That's I a good place. I don't cry in life. That's a good yeah, place. Like any movie. Yeah. Movie. Um, but yeah, I, I, you know, this is the kind of movie, like, if they made it. In 1980, it would be ordinary people, and it would be all over every theater. And I, I just worry that movies like this, you know, there's no cars punching each other. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're entering this era where movies like this probably are only going to be seen at home. But everyone has a mother, pretty much. Right. And it's about mothers and kids and... Yeah. And, you know, I, li I like movies that are about people taking a chance to connect and because connection's everything. Yeah. No, it's really well written. It's funny. It's great, funny. There's a lot of funny, funny people in it. It's got a good ending, you know. It, it, it's a pretty good ending. J.K. Simmons. J.K. Like Simmons. Never seen what an him. actor. What you, an actor. You know, you know the, first, <laughs> the first time I ever saw him was on this network. He was in the, the show Oz. He played the oh, right. Nazi rapist in the prison. <laughs> and for years, I was scared of him. I couldn't even look at him. And now look where he is. He's, he's kind of a here. romantic yeah. thing happening. Yeah, and Rose Byrne. Yeah, She's it's, fabulous. No, it's a really good picture. All Thank right. you. So Thank you for you helping are, us. You, you are also the meddler in politics. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> look at that. I got an extra plug in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and the, there are... Uh, <coughs> Some of the liberals got mad at you because you said if it's not Bernie, that you don't know if you'll even vote for Hillary. You said maybe Trump would be better because he'd bring on the revolution. Well, some of the liberals didn't read the article or see the interview. They just looked at these misleading headlines that the Daily Beast and the Hollywood Reporter and the Hill had put up there saying that I supported Trump. But if you read it or you saw it, I did not say that. No, we're not thinking you support Trump. We're just wondering whether... No, but that's what the headline was. So they went off on it and said, how could you say that? Blah, 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 blah. And I just said, just look at it, read it. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. And it was really shocking because it shows you how the political atmosphere has gotten whipped into a frenzy with just little bits and pieces taken out of context. I was looking at even the... Um, what they took out of the debates last night, because I didn't see the debates I was working. And, uh, but then when they did, like, the top hits of the debates, they would have her, like, screaming at him, and then you didn't say the answer. You know, right. you don't, so you're getting just a very odd little bits and pieces of things. And I thought that was what was really amazing. Was so that you will the, vote for Hillary if it's not Bernie? I'm not, I'm not even admitting that she's going to get the nomination. I'm not going there, no. <laughs> I, I'm also a Bernie Sanders but I've been saying for months on this show, look, until it's not, that's who I'm for. You know, I, he's putting on the table what I call a new deal. Just like it is. The, deal. the new, old you, new deal. You pay he's more got... in taxes, but look at what you get. You right. Get and many college, other things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is a new deal. You protect deal. the environment. You don't get connected right. to Wall Street. You don't take big farm money. You right. don't take all the money from Monsanto. But I have also been saying that if, if the airline cannot board your first choice, Eat the chicken. Uh, that should be Hillary's slogan. Eat the chicken. Uh, are you going to eat the chicken? I'm a vegetarian. I see. I, 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 I well, see, this is, no, what <laughs> this happened, is where we... What happened was that I was saying, because he said to me, there's some people that aren't going to vote for Hillary, I heard. And I said, well, you know, there's a lot of independents, environmentalists, Green Party, working families that he's activated into the Democratic but Party that never would have voted for the Democrat. And they're very principled and very passionate. And you can't just expect them to roll over. You're going to have to give them something. 
if you yeah. want them to vote because they are not the same on the environment. One well, wants fracking, one doesn't. They're not the same well, on a please. lot of things. You know what? That's so. If you want to get me, she's already but, come up to the $15 minimum wage. That's nice because okay, she didn't support that. But, I mean, in environment, great example. Hillary has an 82 percent voter rating from the Conservation Society. Ted, I don't care Ted, the Conservation. Ted Cruz has five. She's that's been, your choice in this world. She's five. been selling fracking all over during. Yes, Secretary's she's Day. not perfect, but the perfect is not on the menu. Well, I'm not going to say that I, I think Bernie Sanders is going to get the nomination. Okay. Don't burst my bubble. Okay, all right. <laughs> but I'm not. Those words can't come out of my mouth at this point. All right, but you know, we were both for Ralph Nader back in 2000. But he was a third-party candidate. That right. there was a very specific thing. This guy that is cost, actually a the miracle that he has come yes. up and worked so hard and, and is the party. And you see, when you go around the United States. He has really spoken to people the way that Trump has, but except this, instead of picking on people and putting up walls and persecuting people, he's saying everyone comes together. But it's the same discontent. It's the same need for authenticity. It's the same disrespect right. for the establishment. And that is a very real thing that's going on now. And that's exciting because he's activated people who I think will vote in the midterm elections. That's part of his thing. He's saying it doesn't end here. No matter what happens, well, you have to get out there and Obama vote. said that, and they didn't show up he, in 2010. They didn't, didn't show up in 2014. I don't think he followed the through. I he don't think he followed through. Oh, come on. No, I don't think he did. I didn't hear anything after he got in. I think he left the grassroots on the lawn of the White House. Wow. I do. That, that's... Plus, uh, you know, you he's know. persecute. He's put in jail more whistleblowers. He's not had a good record on a lot of things that people cared about. I he know, has but, done wonderful oh. things. I agree. Look. He has done <laughs> wonderful <laughs> things. That's, I'm okay, not look, attacking I, Obama no, uh, for the you, record. You can attack him. He won't do this show. You know, and, and, oh. uh, until he